Hey everybody, if you have watched or listened to anything I've shared over the past year or so, you know that it's been a wild and crazy real estate marketplace in Chicagoland. There's been a ton of buyer demand and not enough supply to keep up with it, so it's resulted in lightning fast market times and premium prices in many cases. As of late this spring, we're finally starting to see the number of transactions slowing down a little bit, which is probably a relief to many because this Hunger Games scenario was not sustainable for the long term. Um, but one thing I want to comment on, though, is that as the number of transactions slows, that does not immediately correlate to any kind of depreciation in prices. So if you're expecting prices to go down, I, I wouldn't bet on that if I were you. Um, what it might mean is that the rate of appreciation might slow a little bit, but still appreciate nonetheless. Uh, Fortune.com actually put out a map showing their uh risk factors for depreciation around the country. And I think there were only four markets where they thought the risk was high. Chicago was one of the markets that they labeled as a low depreciation risk. So that's worth noting. Also, just for a little bit of perspective, in May, there still were 40% more transactions than there were in the previous five Mays before COVID on average. So 40% more transactions than the five years before COVID is still a ton of transactions and I would take that market any day. So just a little perspective. If there's anybody you know that would find this video interesting, please share it and I'm gonna follow up with videos on a couple more related topics over the next couple of days.